Hi everyone! Today's scary nail design celebrates one of my favorite horror films, The Babadook. If you want to hear some backstory about this, stay tuned, or click here to skip to the tutorial. The Babadook is a psychological horror film that centers on a beleaguered single mother and a troubled son whom she struggles to love. One night, a mysterious storybook called Mr. Babadook appears in their home, depicting mother and son descending into madness. They try to destroy the book, yet it proves impossible. Worse yet, its violent narrative starts to come true. We're never sure if the Babadook that haunts the characters is real, or a projection born from their mingled paranoia and resentment. While its inventive scares and bold characterization set the film apart from other horror titles, it's also visually chilling. The Mr. Babadook book is particularly distinct, so I've taken today's designs straight from its pages. You'll need base and top coat, plus a matte top coat, red, white, and black polish, a makeup sponge and detail brush, and black and white acrylic paint, and I also used a latex barrier. Paint your index finger red, your pinky and thumb black, and your ring and middle nail white. Then apply a fast drying top coat. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. Apply a latex barrier on your index finger if you want because we're going to do some messy sponging. To create the charred cover of the Babadook book, I'm painting a red square on a sponge and a black border around it. As you can see, I kind of missed, but that's no problem. Just keep blending, and in my case, I went in with a bit of red and sponged it where I wanted there to be more color. See? Nice and singed. Apply a top coat and you're ready to paint with your acrylics. I'm starting with the lettering on my thumb. I want to write let me in, so I'm just applying the first letters of each line to get the spacing right and then filling in the other letters. Then make a speech bubble to encircle all of it. It doesn't have to be perfect, just discernibly round. And on my pinky, I'm going to write Babadook across three lines. Again, I'm just getting the positioning right and then filling in the letters. B-A, B-A, and then D-O-O-K across the bottom. By the way, I'm just holding a polish bottle for some stability. And that's what it should look like when your lettering's done. Now to move on to the middle nail, where you'll need light gray, dark gray, and black acrylic paint. Start by painting the outline of a door in dark gray. Then fill in the panels using light gray. To paint the Babadook peeking out from behind the door, I usually start with a top hat, including the curly brim, and then the outline of his body. Don't forget the characteristic tufts of wiry hair. Once he's all filled in, paint one large white eye with a huge black pupil. Creepy Babadook is creepy. On my ring finger, I'm going to paint the Babadook's full face, starting with the top hat as a reference point. There's not really any rhyme or reason to this, just do whatever suits you. I'm copying a picture rather faithfully, and I try to outline his features before I fill in any details. For example, I'm starting with the eyes, the nose, the lower part of the face, and the mouth, leaving space where I want it to be white in the end. This black line represents where his teeth are going to go. And of course, don't forget the tufts of wiry hair again. I love how the teeth turned out. This is really simple. Just fill in some short white strokes along the black line that you made. They don't have to be perfect. They're actually supposed to look a little bit messy. And of course, the pupils really bring him to life. Once you've filled in the mouth, you have a completed scary Babadook face. And finally, the index finger will be for the charred red book. This is probably the easiest nail. You're just creating a silhouette of the Babadook, including the top hat, two hands sticking out from the bottom of his coat, and the hair along the sides. Once you're all done, cover it with top coat, and then apply a matte finish. This is not a glossy, shiny film, so I thought a matte top coat would be perfect. And there you have the completed Babadook look. It's pretty creepy, but not so bad that I won't wear it for a few days. I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up or comment down below. 
And if you'd like to read more about this film, I'll put a link to RottenTomatoes.com where you can watch the trailer and to The Guardian where you can read a review. Please let me know if you decide to watch it and tell me what you thought. Thanks for watching.